understanding God. When we prayed with our hands on our chest, I saw our hands burning while placed on our hearts, and I heard judgment and fear. If we are to walk in His light, we must understand these two concepts. Many haven't feared the Lord because they don't understand His judgment. We must know this so we will be blameless. He was saying that in understanding His fear and judgment, we would come to see that He is greater than all things. I got 1 John chapter 3 from verse 18 to 24 and Psalms chapter 19. I saw a hand with its index finger pointed towards a direction and a voice was saying, Remember that when a finger is pointed, only one finger points outside to the other party being spoken to. The four fingers point at you, the addresser. This will keep you on guard, lest you think you are standing. What does the scriptures say? Prior to this, while the sermon was ongoing, I had heard, take heed of thyself. This vision helped explain this phrase. I understood this vision to mean two things. First is that the finger is the Holy Spirit. He was saying that in his manifestations, which will involve working and using us to reach to the rest of the world, we shouldn't forget to judge ourselves so we won't be judged with the rest of the world. To whom much is given, much is expected. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. That is why many among you are weak and sick, and a number of you have fallen asleep. But if we were more discerning with regards to ourselves, we would not come under such judgment. Nevertheless, when we are judged in this way by the Lord, we are being disciplined so that we will not be finally condemned with the world. The second is that his work with most of us in the house would be done more within us, an internal manifestation of the power of God, what I would call bearing fruit, than in an external manifestation of his power, what I would refer to as giftings. I got 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 2 who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through the sanctifying work of the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and sprinkled with his blood. Grace and peace be yours in abundance. Also, these Bible passages have been coming to mind. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1. The understanding I got from them is that we must prepare ourselves to house God. He is looking for a house. He wants to make us his home, his habitation, his dwelling place. Thus, we must be set apart in spirit, soul and body for this sole purpose. It's a call to all who will pay the price. It's costly, he says individually and collectively. Are you ready to house me? I also got Proverbs chapter 1 verse 23. Above all else, guard your heart, for it affects everything you do. Know it's all about him, not about you. Serve accordingly with a pure heart. Then the song, It's All About Him by Anita Wilson came to mind. 11th January 2019, Sister N.O. Copyright Gamwatch.